Hello, viewers. Uh, we're looking at uh, Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe on the Commodore 64. Yay! Um, this has been shown on many other channels already. Uh, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them um, is that this game is from uh, a software a creator that we haven't seen Commodore 64's game from yet so uh, and they've done a pretty good job um, and the second reason that I'm excited is that um, this is not the first Sydney Hunter game um, there's also Sydney Hunter the Ca and the Caverns of Death um, which uh, our good friend uh, Electric Adventures is working on for the NES so this a Sydney Hunter game is available on the ColecoVision. Uh, it's on the NES, on the SNES, now on the Commodore 64. Um, there's also Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayans. Um, so uh, this is really uh, something to look forward to, you know, the, uh, just to see what the next uh, next game will be. This is a platformer game. Um, we're just going to play it. I, I, I'm... Uh, not gonna show oh I am gonna show the intro because I don't have any choice <laughs> I have to show you the intro so let's do that I'm playing it on vice so it's easier to record it was developed by Exidy and published by a Collectivision now Collectivision is I think by nature a Canadian company they're also in the in the United States um, games 31 John Lester is their um, uh, marketing uh, manager or president or whatever he does the marketing um, and basically what they do is they they've bought uh, the acclaim name and now they've bought the Exidy name and they just hire independent programmers and designers and uh, sound people and graphics people and have them design these games and then they make them into cartridges or disc versions and they even have uh, electronic downloads now another th reason to be excited is that this game is only six dollars for the download now you don't get the manual uh, so this is definitely a point for improvement you know all of the other companies like uh, Cytronic and uh, Protovision and uh, RGCD if you buy electronic versions, you get the whole shebang, right? So you get maps, and you get PDFs, and you get manuals, and you get everything. So in this case, you just get a D64 image with the game on it. Perfect, you know, it's a very good price. Um, naturally, they also sell cartridge versions and disc versions for this game. All of them are sold out at the make at the time of making of this uh, this video. So let's just have a little play around with the uh, with the game. Um, uh, there are some loads as you go on. You're Sydney Hunter, Great Adventurers. You go to Central America, Yucatan. You've all seen this probably. Uh, you were captured in the night by a mysterious tribe. They won't hurt you, but you're their prisoner because you have to find the way out. Well, you know, that's the story. Now there's a load. There won't be one on the uh, on the cartridge version, but now there's a load, and it takes a while, and I can I can see that it's loading because my little light is flashing. But after it loads, track 25, it stopped loading now. So now it's doing something, right? And you're thinking, oh my god, my my game has crashed or my computer has crashed. So hold on because it starts. Greetings, we don't want to hurt you or people are in trouble. We need your help. We lost access to the doorway. So I've got five lives. I've got no diamonds and no keys. Uh, this is my little um, high resolution um, Sydney guy. I have no weapon. All I can do is jump up and down. Does nothing. Not, nothing. Nothing except uh, access ladders and vines. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I press F1. Uh, obviously not on this screen. I press F1. Oh, not yet. Oh, maybe, maybe I should uh, give that window focus, right? Uh, I get a map screen. It shows my progress. It shows the um, 
uh, the the levels that I've been on the screens basically uh, and these are the diamonds that we uh, collect high-res graphics so uh, looks quite good uh, the, the feel is quite good and this is uh, an emulator music is nice this the yellow stuff is quicksand uh, there's a little door here I can go into it Whoop, see nice effect there yeah, I, uh, I, I, I like it. I like it. Just a simple. That's that's a sprite. I think my character is two sprites high, <coughs> or at least it takes up two sprites, two characters high maybe. Some odd choices for a jumping effect, and uh, yeah. Oh Christ. I never make that jump. Uh, nothing there. And look, this is a nice demonstration of what how you can use the uh, the the quicksand because you slowly sink into it. <laughs> you shouldn't sink in too far because you die. Pineapples give you an extra life. I now have six. And uh, there's our door again. That's that's the other side of the same door. Yeah. Now this, yeah, I got it. So it's 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 very it's very much platformer breaking uh, breaking bridges. Uh, I can might as well just go over this one. Is he gonna fall in? Yes, he is. <laughs> well done. So go under the bat here. Whee. Whee. Go down the vine. Uh, if I go down here, I won't be going up. I'll be going down there, won't I? Yeah, I've... I've there's sometimes you have a little trouble uh, getting up and down the ladders. They could have... Um, I don't know how they detect exactly how you are in front of a, a ladder or over or under one. Oh, it's quick. See, going up here, I couldn't get up there. Now I can. So you have to be very precise in getting uh, up and down the uh, these things. There appears to be like an invis invisible staircase here. See that? Oh. Uh, there we go. Red diamond. Pineapple. Oh, nothing there. Let's see where I am. Ah, oh, see. Done all that. So, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, uh, not not bad at all. I mean, I I, I couldn't have done this. Uh, maybe with a little bit of effort. I mean, it's it's not it's not overly complex, but it's a fun game. What the hell am I supposed to do here? It's a fun game. I like it. Ha <laughs> ha! Made it. It's a fun game, and it's and it's well made, and. Uh, 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 so, despite uh, um, uh, like uh, uh, small issues with uh, getting up the uh, the ladder sometimes, and the hitbox around this thing seems to be a little bit wide, can't get it. Yep, there we go. Another thing that I that I've just noticed is that hold on around that torch uh i've seen versions where this flickers where the light around the torch flickers um my version doesn't seem to have that for some reason i don't know why that is i didn't set anything uh okay did i just oh 
See, he didn't appear to touch me there. I am invincible for a short while. I, I look purple. Aha, I haven't been here yet. This, these guys give me... You need 60 diamonds to pass. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so where is this? Alright. Oh, you can actually see the, um, the doors where they are. And I think you can see the exits. One up and one left. Yeah. So if I go... Left here, there's another left there. Whee! Yeah, I wonder if I uh, if I should uh, if I played this on the uh, on the real Commodore, if those lights would actually flicker with the because that was a nice effect. I like that. I was wondering how they done that. Ah, red diamond. Whoa! <laughs> That's I mean that, that I like that. That's better. I was nosing him, <laughs> and I didn't die, so that's good. I don't like these wasps, and I cannot get to the other side of this thing from here, because the snake will get me. So, an enjoyable game. I'm in, I'm liking it. What I would like, though, is either game saves or passwords or whatever, because uh, when I die now, I couldn't get down there. And uh, so, I've, I've, um, I can't get off the ladder that way. Um, there's, there's no passwords or anything, so if I go down there, what will happen? Can I go left? I should be able to. Oh, I'm invincible. See that? Oh. Oh, maybe these uh, totems or something. How, am I going to be able to jump over him? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this is exciting. Ah! Go away. No. Nope. Yeah, and, uh, well, level design makes and breaks a game. So, uh, you get to see the end scene here uh, if you don't make it. So, when I die here and I I, uh, I have to do the whole thing over again, no problem. But it means I have to finish the game in one sitting. And I, I liked that feature in Sam's Journey where I could just stop and continue wherever. I mean, especially in a large game. And this definitely, lo definitely looks like it. It's a large game. Uh, it just helps if you can save your progress. Maybe there's a, a save point that I haven't reached yet. I don't know. But uh, I for this, you know, uh, amazing. I'm really, really happy with this game. It's only six euros, um, uh, and you get a good game. So what could be better? Thumbs up. Go get it. Collect a vision. I'll put a link in the description, um, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.